Welcome back everybody to another episode of Retro Revival, where we try and bring classic games back to life. In today's episode, I'll show you how to get the arena shooter classic Quake 3 up and running on modern hardware, with full widescreen support and the correct aspect ratio. Step 1, install Quake 3. If you don't already own it, you can buy the game for $15 on the Steam Store, but keep in mind that both Quake Live and Quake Champions are more recent, and have a larger population online if you're interested in playing competitively. The game should boot up just fine without any changes, but you'll be stuck with some lower preset resolutions. Step 2. Open Quake 3 Config. In order to set up your own native resolution, you'll need to input it into Quake 3's configuration files. Open the Quake 3 directory and then open the folder Base Q3. Here you'll find a file called Q3 Config. Step 3. Change the resolution. Search for SATA R Custom Height and SATA R Custom Width. Change the values in the quotations to your own preferred resolution. In order for the game to use these custom values, set SATA R mode to negative 1. And step 4, change the field of view. If you don't want your game to appear stretched, you're going to need to extend the field of view alongside your widescreen resolution. Search for CGFOV and change the default 90 value to something like 110. And that's it, now the game should run perfectly at a native resolution. Go ahead and boot up the game to see for yourself. Keep in mind that this resolution will screw up some of the character models in the game's menus, but in-game everything looks and plays perfectly. So let's just briefly run through those steps again. Step 1, install Quake 3. Step 2, open Quake 3 configuration. Step 3, change the resolution. And step 4, change the field of view. And that's how you get Quake 3 running on modern hardware in 2018. If you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know, but in the meantime, I hope this video was helpful. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Retro Revival.